hey you guys welcome back to a new video today i want to do um an empty house tour as you can see from the background like my curtains it looks like i've moved in and that is because yes we have already moved in so thing is um the walls were being painted yesterday and i took most of my things to my friend's house so because today i came to clean the house i was like you know what the house is practically empty let me just do an empty house tour um and yeah i had already done one previously but i feel like i'm not going to post that video because the house with the cream color honestly looks quite ugly so there's no point of me showing you that let me just show you the after i think i'm going to um put a clip on the side so that you can see how the house was looking like before and how it's looking like now oh my god the white color has definitely changed the look of this house so much i love it i absolutely love it and this is a sign for you to um also like just paint your walls white <laughs> paint your walls white um oh my god i love it actually i love it i love how it turned out so yeah let me flip the camera and show you how the whole house looks like and yeah all right you guys so right where i'm standing is the door and that's how you get in oh that is so bright um so yeah that's how the entire house looks like i know the paint job doesn't look perfect i'll have to add another coat of color but trust me the person who painted this house really did a great job because the house initially had a cream color he had to paint like four coats of paint in fact the paint that i bought was not enough we bought like eight liters of paint because i wanted the whole house to be painted white and then the bedroom had like a pink color so to change from like a different color to white it would require a lot of paint nailisha before we were done but i'm just happy that at least there's some white being seen <laughs> right so after i settle down and i do everything we'll have to add another coat of paint because as you can see pia they still um cream being seen but yeah that's how the entire house looks like this house is massive i absolutely love it so on this side there's also like uh some windows that's where i've hung my curtains and then i feel like i was so lucky when i was getting this house because one all my curtains fit as you can see these are the curtains that i had in my previous house and they fit to the t the idea of buying new curtains was really stressing me out i'm not going to lie because i was like oh, that money is a lot of money and these windows so it means if i had to buy new curtains it would really cost me a lot so thank god i was lucky enough uh for my curtains to fit in this house so that's how that place looks like and then the house is like i've said the house is empty because of the painting but i have my mirror here it would be easy for us to move around while painting so yeah that's the sitting area so big <laughs> i feel like this is the biggest house I've, i have ever lived in yeah it is because this sitting area is literally the same size as my other besita house i already missed that house but let's move on to better and bigger things <laughs> and then on this other side there's a huge window i absolutely love the windows um yeah i've just put my sheer curtain this is still the the same sheer curtain i had in my previous house so the idea that i have here uh i want to add another curtain rod holder or what are they called yeah that thing that is used to hold uh curtain rods and then i'll add another sheer curtain either that or i'll just buy one long sheer curtain that goes from that side to all the way to the door so that it can create like an illusion it can come out it's like a whole window i don't know it's just an idea that i have but let's let we will we'll know how to arrange this house <laughs> And yeah, um, so for the floors, in my other moving video, there's somebody who commented and said that I could always buy Mkekawambao. I don't know how that is, how much that is going to cost me. So I could either do that or I could buy like a whole big carpet that fills in the whole space. So that is the carpet, easy tiles. This year. Honestly, these tiles are very ugly. But it's a small compromise for this whole space that we are getting. I feel like I could work with this, honestly. I know they are not looking the best, 
but we could work with this <laughs> right so yeah that's uh my entire sitting area let me stand at this corner so that you can see so yeah even though sitting area in a car i'll have to get rid of that couch because it looks so small so this place where there is a mirror i'm going to mount my tv there and then a tv stand and then this mirror is going to that corner so yeah guys i've been checking pinterest to just see how i can arrange this place and then i'm thinking this area i could add a dining set a dining table a dining area <laughs> Uh, so yeah guys that is the sitting area now let me show you the bedroom so guys uh, this is how the bedroom looks like again the bedroom has also been painted white uh, this other side my bed is there we were not able to <laughs> remove it because my bed is not uh, big and it's not heavy so it's easily it can be moved easily um yeah i love the closet i'm actually the one who painted them <laughs> and i don't know what i was thinking i painted even the handles and they look crazy so we are also going to change that i don't think handles are expensive and then there is a mirror there i think i'm going to arrange my bed looking this way and then this other side there is like a whole window so this other side there is a mirror and i don't want to show you guys that side too uh yeah because of privacy you know i don't want people are weird out here but yeah that is my bedroom that's where the bed is of course it's not going to stay there i just wanted to show you how massive this bedroom is but then this guy again i'm going to praise him because this room was looking crazy ilikwana color pink imagine and the way he really tried to transform it into white but it's just shika kabisa they he needs to add another coat and honestly i feel like my pockets right now are dry because i have bought so much paint and paint is not cheap and also paying him for the for the labor you know that's a lot of that's a lot of money so for now i'm just i'm going to stay with it looking like this and then we will add paint eventually but that is the bedroom which is massive again with the tiles these tiles are crazy honestly i don't know what we are going to do about them uh previously i had said that i saw one of you guys commented that nezabai mke kawambao and that is also an idea but transform nyumba pole pole but yeah i love this house by the way it's massive actually one of the reasons why i picked it is the fact that it's big and also it got located karibu na barabara so yeah that's a plus there is a mirror there i don't know if i've shown you my mirror is dirty even the one that is in the sitting area is dirty it needs to be cleaned all right so after the sitting room and then there's the bedroom then we go to the kitchen this kitchen needs a lot of work oh. It really needs a lot of work so that's how it looks like hapochini it's a bit dark i'm thinking i will add a contact paper hapo kwa window and then i'll put sheer curtains and then i don't know if i'll leave those cabinets like that but that's how it looks like like i said it's an old house so it's bound to look like this but i feel like if it's decorated correctly honestly i have a vision you can buy contact paper yeah, black i'm a white i um cover all those ugly tiles and then i'm also thinking of switching the tab what else i'll buy sheer curtains and then curtain roads honestly i have a vision <laughs> but yeah that is the kitchen so guys i believe i've already shown you um the bedroom actually my phone died and i had to charge it it's actually the following day so I think I remember I was here. Let us continue with the house tour. So, occupying a corner, there's this whole space that looks like that. That's the mirror. That's me. The mirrors here are dirty. I honestly need to clean them up. But that's how the toilet looks like. I've already added a mat there. I have cleaned the toilet. But is a bit too as you go by the Hazitoki. I don't know what's up with that, but I'm not too bothered. 
um so yeah that's how the toilet looks like and then this is the bathroom it looks like that it's a bit old school but i feel like if it's the tiles ziki scrabiwa vizuri zitatoka even down it needs to be clean i did clean the toilet but the bathroom i think i don't know what i need to clean it with but hopefully zitatoka and yeah that's basically it and then over here there is this whole space that's the bedroom and then this is now the road that leads to the bedroom the sitting room and the kitchen um yeah i'm still indecisive uh, on i'm still deciding on what i'll place here i'm thinking instead of putting like those essentials that are usually used for toilet i could like buy a cabinet a small cabinet and then i place everything out here but yeah that is just an idea that i have Please don't don't mind the mess in my house. It looks crazy. At least I tried to bring back uh some things. My carpet is still there because it's super super dirty. Uh, I need it to be cleaned. My TV is still not mounted yet. But yeah, that's basically how my empty house tour looks like. Um yeah. So you guys, I hope you've had an idea of how the house looks like. Actually, let me Let me switch the lights on it's too dark guys i hope you've gotten like an idea of how the whole house looks like now we are on to um arranging and just putting everything in order and yeah thank you so much for watching comment down below and tell me what you think about the house it's definitely a downgrade uh from the place where i was living the other house was quite quite modern but what i love most about this house is the fact that it's very very spacious in fact this is the biggest house i have ever stayed in it definitely needs like uh some upgrades here and there i need to buy like a new tub for the kitchen and holders for the cabinets but those are just a few things that i feel like they're not even necessary by the way i just i just feel like they, they will make the place look better i do not mind i do not mind for this space um so yeah that's it you guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe comment down below and tell me the favorite part of the house and yeah we'll catch up on my next video